Hello and welcome back. This is video number five. We're going to talk about how to automate the ring. Now that you understand how everything is interlinked, how everything is connected, and how you can kind of be creative and make your own ring. So after viewing the previous video, you can imagine how tedious and overwhelming it is to have to maintain the ring, much less get it set up yourself. But lucky for you, there is a way to automate it once you have set things up. It's getting things set up is the tedious process. Now, there's a software platform called IFTTT, and there's another one called Zapier.com that allows you to automate the process of moving content all around your social properties. So you could take a YouTube video and have it pushed to your WordPress site. And by pushed, I mean have it embedded on your WordPress site and then have it shared on your Facebook fan page, your Twitter page, your Instagram, and all of that. So you have essentially what we call triggers that whenever the trigger happens, then this something else happens. So what IFTTT stands for is if then this, that. So if this happens, then what kind of deal? Now, between the two, Zapier will cost you a lot of money after a while. A lot of times they'll give you some free triggers and zaps, which is what they call it. And beyond that, it will cost money. Whereas with IFTTT, it's just as good, but it's free. So let's hop on over and show you how IFTTT works. Okay, so if you head on over to IFTTT.com, that's IFTTT3Ts.com, you'll see this page. You can go ahead and create an account and you'll find a lot of really cool, interesting triggers is what we call it in IFTTT. So what a trigger is, is let's say you upload a YouTube video and then the system detects that the video has been uploaded. What do you want to happen after that happens? So if YouTube video has been uploaded, then post it to WordPress. Then after that, take the post on WordPress, maybe post it elsewhere or post a YouTube video to Twitter and so forth and so forth. So as you can imagine, this does get tedious, but if you map things out, if you know ahead of time, what it's gonna look like, then you can simply look at it and say, okay, I'm pointing YouTube to Twitter. So anytime video has been uploaded to YouTube, then it simply gets pushed or embedded into Twitter. So we need to make a IFTT trigger for that. So to do that, it's very easy. All you have to do is go to my applets up here and you can do a search for applets. Now services over here, I'm not gonna click that, but this tab here allows you to essentially connect to all of the services that you're gonna be using. So for example, as you can see here, I've got Tumblr to Weebly, RSS to Google Drive, a YouTube like to OneNote, YouTube like to Facebook page. And the reason why you might wanna have YouTube likes is, let's say for example that you already have maybe 50 videos on your YouTube channel, but you wanna find a way to get those videos embedded. So what we figured out is that YouTube likes is the way to go. So obviously you can't re-upload a video that hasn't already been uploaded and is already getting thousands of views. The way you go about it is create a YouTube like trigger so that you can simply like it and then it gets posted to throughout your network. Now, as you can see here, you can easily get lost in the mix of everything. So that's why I said visually map everything out first, and then from that point, then you can simply go in and set things up. So like Blogger to Weebly, YouTube to Facebook, YouTube to Blogger, YouTube to Instapaper, YouTube to DIIGO, YouTube to Google Plus page via Buffer, and all that. 
and we got YouTube to Tumblr, YouTube to Twitter. So it can go on and on and on if you really want it to, or you can simply pick and choose what you want and what you don't want and go from there. Now, in order to turn them on, you can simply click here to turn them on. But for the sake of just showing you, this is what it looks like. So as you can see, the Tumblr to Weebly is activated. So when it is activated, it'll have the on button and the green light. 